All right, so we're going to show you a six count move that has a couple of different options. Um, the general idea is that we're going to bring our partner to our right side. And depending on the handhold that we have, we're going to call it by different names. So we're going to start with two hand hold like this. We're going to bring our partner to the right, and we're going to call this the cuddle. Yay! Yay! We call it the cuddle. Well, I like to call it the cuddle because we keep both hands and we get into this cuddly, hug-like position. Brrr. Now we're going to use our six count rhythm to get into it. Rock, step, triple step, triple step. Now from here, we're going to get out of it in the same fashion. Rock, step, triple step, triple step. So look at a close up of our hands. We especially want to look at the follower's right hand to the leader's left hand. When Michael brings me towards him, do you see how his two middle fingers point down? And my hand creates a little barrel that's going to go around. And we're going to have a loose connection so that we can pivot. And then we end up in the follower's hands still on top and the leader's hands on bottom. Similarly, when we exit the move, Michael lifts this hand and we allow the fingers to pivot once again. And as I exit, his fingers are going to rotate within mine and drop back down. Yeah. The important things for me, again, Evita said a lot of the, the pivotal ideas on the left side. The right hand for me, the left hand for the follower, will stay fairly low at Evita's waist. So I'm not doing a lot here with the height. As I get into the cuddle position, I feel a connection from the hip all the way across the back in this right arm. That helps me lead the rock step. As I take that with my body, she feels that lead right there. Now, even though I lift the right hand, I'm going to give Evita a little extra guidance with this right arm so that she knows I'd like her to exit. So and that, that feels quite nice on me. Instead of being dragged out by this front hand, Notice Michael's hand on my back. That's the hand that's going to give me my nudge to exit out. Yeah. So when we do this all together, we have rock, step, triple step, triple step, rock, step, lift the hand, a triple step, and there we go. So that's called the cuddle. Now, the exact same positioning and the exact same footwork can be used but we're going to switch hands to a cross hand hold, right hand to right hand. Yep. We bring our partner to our right side, and this right hand leaders is going to be high across my follow's shoulder. So you can see here that I'm connected with Evita up top. Be careful that you don't squeeze your arm because that becomes a headlock. A headlock, no like headlock, yeah. right? It's not as lovely. Sometimes I like to call this move the sweetheart position because it sort of looks like you're with your sweetheart at the movies. At the drive-in. You could even think of it as uh, like you're taking a photo, perhaps. Or a walk on a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> yeah. But the important thing to notice here is that Michael's hand is going to go up above my shoulder. Rock, step, triple step, triple. And again, you see our loose finger connection here. We don't have to grip or hold on to each other. Right, we want a loose connection. Now, Evita is still giving me connection in this hand so that to get out of this, again, with a rock step, rock, step, triple step, triple step, all of that is led from the right side, that connection. Rock, step, triple step, triple step, rock, step, triple step, and triple step. Now, you'll also notice that my left arm is left available, and Michael uses that. So Michael's left arm is going to catch my wrist. And again, leaders, I'm not gripping anything. I'm just providing a connection point or a wall right here for Evita to connect with. As I take that rock step, you can see that I'm extending the left hand forward ever so slightly. Rock step, triple step, triple step. And Evita gives me connection all the way through that shape so that when I send Evita out, she can feel a gentle guidance or push, rock, step, 
Triple push, triple step. That's nice. Yeah. And I think that's something that's really important. We'd love it uh, if you practice this with the partner. Remember that the connection is very much felt on both sides. That's right. From, from this side and this side. For both the cuddle and the sweetheart leaders, when you're looking at the footwork, it's important to understand that I'm not traveling towards my partner. Sometimes when we watch dancers do this, they, the leaders are moving too much. So leaders, rock, step, hold your spot. My second triple step actually goes back with Evita so that I absorb that energy. And then from here, triple step, triple step. That second triple step, I hold my ground so that we get that distance or that space. And a last possible variation on this, instead of being in a handshake, right hand to right hand, sometimes, and I, I personally love this, Michael will catch me by the waist. So I'll show on this side. Rock, step, triple step, triple step, rock, step, triple step, a triple step. Now I particularly like that because it feels very romantic and it feels very supported. Um, I also love that Michael releases my right arm, and as a follower, I get to practice keeping my arms right where they are. Yeah. There's a lot of variations that can come off of this, which we'll probably explore later, but for the moment, it's great to just be able to have that freedom, reconnect, and again, sending our partner out. And all of the technique that we use, the connection points that we used for our sweetheart position, up top, as I connect with Evita's waist down here, again, I help open that hip for the rock step. She still gives me a connection on the left side. Rock, step, triple push, triple step, and then we reconnect at the end. So that is the cuddle and the sweetheart with different positionings.